Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Francis Vlogs. It's me, Francis De La Cruz, your Seaman Vlogger. Yes guys, for today's video, let us differentiate between the speed over the ground and speed through the water. So let's start with the speed over the ground. This is the speed with respect or relative to the ground or other fixed object that you will find at sea like beacon, land, and lighthouses, and etc. It is commonly used on a normal navigation. Uh, we have the coastal navigation and if your vessel is approaching in a fairways or at ports. Okay, so while the speed through the water, it is the speed with respect to any floating objects at sea. Okay, any floating objects at sea, such as like ships, okay, boats, and speed through the water is used for collision avoidance. In order to understand more between the speed through the ground and speed through the water, I will give you a basic and easy example to understand it. Okay, let's start with speed over the ground. Speed over the ground. This is an example. I put here land, and this is your vessel. Okay, with 15 knots of speed. And after one hour, here, one hour. So there's a wind or current here with two knots of speed. Okay, so the question is, uh, what is the speed over the ground of your vessel if there's a two knots ahead of your vessel or against to the movement of your vessel? Since your vessel is traveling towards the wind, what is the SOG with respect to this land? So you have 13 knots, S-O-G, and your vessels travel 13 nautical miles in one hour because you have two knots here against your vessel. So it's against to the movement of your vessel. So you have to deduct two knots from 15 knots of the speed. Okay, so the SOG is 13 knots. Understood. How about if there is a wind from astern? Okay, if there is your vessel also with 15 knots. And there is a wind or current here with two knots of speed. Okay, so... What is the SOG of your vessel? The wind and current pushes your vessel going to the destination of your vessel. So your vessel is traveling going there. So there's two knots. So what is the SOG? You have to add two knots. So 17 knots. The SOG of your vessel 17 nautical miles in one hour. So your vessel traveled 17 nautical miles in one hour in 17 knots of speed. That is the SOG. So let's uh, let's proceed to the speed through the water, okay? Let's proceed to speed through the water. Let's say this is a floating boat, okay? This is a floating boat and this is your vessel with 15 knots of speed and we have current or wind here with two knots of speed there's a current or wind ahead of your vessel so it is against the movement of your vessel so after one hour here after one hour your vessel travels towards here okay So your SOG is 2 knots minus 15 knots, 13. That is your SOG, huh? so 13 nautical miles. Your vessel travels 13 nautical miles in one hour with a speed of 13 knots. So the question is, what is your speed through the water with respect to this floating object? Since there's a 2 knots, speed of current and weed ahead of this floating object so the movement of the floating objects is going backwards from your vessel so from going here right 
So, this floating object travels 2 nautical miles in 1 hour. Okay? With 2 knots of speed. Because since there is just a floating object and there's no speed, it have just get the speed because of the to not speed of current and or a wind so to need calmas in two knots so the speed through the water is the total distance i mean the total speed of your vessel and this floating object so since your sog is 13 knots and you have the floating object speed of two knots so your speed through the water is 15 knots okay speed through the water and 15 nautical miles so that is your speed through the water with respect to this floating object so how about if there's a weed on your astern okay so since this is the floating object and this is your vessel with speed of 15 knots and there's a wind or current here okay two knots so your vessels pushes your the wind or current pushes your vessels going here with the speed of 15 knots so your SOG is 15 plus 2 is 17 17 knots okay travels 17 nautical miles in one hour okay because the wind and current is in favor with the movement of your vessel that is why we have to add the two knots so it becomes 17 knots so how about the speed through the water okay let's say two knots and this floating object pushes by the wind and current let's say after one hour here so with two nautical miles from the starting point so the speed through the water with this is have two knots because of this factor or wind or current so the speed through the water of your vessel is 15 SOG 15 knots speed through the water so 15 nautical miles so that is guys the speed through the water and I hope you understand the difference between speed over the ground and speed through the water. Thank you for watching and if you have question, clarification or any correction, do not hesitate to comment in the comment section. And guys, do not forget to subscribe and like and click the, the notification bell so that you are notified if I have a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!